Magandang hapon po, ma'am. Magandang hapon, ma'am. Magandang hapon, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Mag-quiz sila, ma'am. Hatagan na ako sila 2 hours for 60 items na quiz and then pagkawaman kay i-answeran na yun. Mga paaboto lang na po po ano. Mga 15 ang participants. Lunes, iyok yung ang kamera.
So, good afternoon sa tanan. Afternoon, ma'am. So, I guess uh, nag-abot naman ng 15. So, mag-start na ta. So, may I request na tanan mag-on o camera para matanaw na ko if ga basa give mo ang buwan. So, I will give you mga one and a uh, mga two hours kung dili makaya o one hour and 30 minutes. So, it's 10 out of two hours to uh, answer 60 items na quiz. So, compact set na na siya sa book ko o criminal evidence. So, ang pag-answer, tarungan ninyo, masaha o tarong. That's why hatangan tamo po hours in order na mabasa ninyo. Kaya importante na maanad mo basa. So, let's start. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ako ako ka? Yes, ma'am. Zoom lang, ma'am. Ah, sige, ma'am. Sige, ma'am. Gina-zoom lang na mo, ma'am.
Mabili sa kagamay nga maklaro ang question sa number 35. Sir?
So, asa inyo ang items na wala na answeran? Answeran inyo tanan? Hello? Yes, ma'am. So, let's uh, start na Hasho. So, kindly check your own paper honestly ha? so So number one, it is a branch or division of law which defines crimes, traits of their nature, and provides for their punishment. So, uh, mag-eliminate tadera. When you say criminal evidence, uh, it is uh, those means sanctioned by the rules of court, diba? asserting the truth in judicial proceedings respecting a matter of fact, which is being presented during judicial proceedings. While criminal procedure naman is a method fixed by the law or fixed by the rules of court in order to prosecute and uh, provide proper penalty for the uh, offender. So, so, ang answer dira is bravo, criminal law. So, criminal law, na siya ito ka branch, di ba? Remember, we have the revised penal code, special penal law, and the city ordinances. So, Number two, these are characteristics of criminal law except, so ang question is, asa dira ang dili appeal sa characteristics of criminal law? So we have two law, di ba? We have generality, territoriality, and prospectivity. So ang answer dira is Charlie. So mo na ang walay labot. So kaniyang answer, letter C, Charlie. So when I say generality, kanang tao, applies to all people regardless of race or religion or age. Uh, territoriality naman is lugar within the territory of the Philippines. Prospectivity referring to time. Kanus a dapat ipromulgate si criminal law. So, next, number three. These are exceptions to the generality except. So, nasa mga exceptions, di ba? We have the head of the state. We have the other agreements to uh, other country and those congressmen and senators during uh, session. Diba? Pag head of the state, referring to public international law. Pag agreement to other country, referring to treaty stipulation. Pag si congress or senators during a session, referring to preferential application. So, ang answer there is kaning delta. So, answer number three is delta. Mga may dili appeal sa exception sa generality. Next, number four, these are the elements of felony except. So, uh, elements of the felony is, diba, felony is an act which is punishable by revised penal code. It is an act or omission, dibuhat or wala dibuhat, and felony can be committed by means of dolo or by means of culpa. Dolo, which means deceit, culpa, which means fault. So, ang answer there is kaning Charlie. Muna siya ang dili appeal sa uh, elements of the felony. Next, number five. So, stages of uh, ang kwanere, ang kaning base sa options na to are stages of committing felony. So, ang question is, uh, if the offender performs all the, of, all the acts of execution which would produce a felony as a consequence but which do not produce it by reason of causes, so, when you say attempted, di ba, ang attempted is walay word na performs all the acts of execution. Ang attempted is showing all, uh, showing only the intention by overt acts. Ang consummated naman na I word na performs all the acts of execution and na I word na produces the felony. So, basis sa ato ang question, 
Anak siya performs all the execution pero do not produce the felony. So answer dira is bravo. Frustrated. Next, number six. When two or more persons come to an agreement concerning commission of a felony and decide to commit it, answer dira is Charlie, conspiracy. Ano yung answer? Diba ka, when you are telling only your intention to commit a felony or a crime, ang tawag na proposal. But pag naanay word na agreement, ni agree na itong giingnan ni mo sa inyo ang intention, so that's the time proposal will now become conspiracy. Next, number seven. Attaches capital punishment or penalty or any of their periods are afflictive. So, These are the felony according to its gravity. So, tanawon na ito pila ang penalty niya, di ba? So, pag once daw na, light, penal, light felony, di ba? Light felony are punishable by light penalties only. Pag correctional penalties naman, tawag na less grave felonies. Pero pag punishable by afflictive penalty or capital punishment, ang tawag na is grave felony. So, answer there is bravo. So, answer number seven is bravo. Next, number eight, are those which, if present in the commission of the crime, do not entirely free the actor from criminal liability. So, base sa itong options, these are uh, criminal liability or circumstances that could affect the criminal liability. Si justifying, si justifying uh, no criminal liability, no civil liability. So, meaning to say, uh, the actor will be free from criminal liability for justifying. So, I-eliminate na ito ni siya. Dili, dili si Alpha ang answer. Pag once naman na exempting circumstance, ang ginafree lang kay actor is criminal liability but not civil liability. So, ana si question, uh, do not entirely free the actor from criminal liability. So, meaning to say, dili answer si exempting circumstance. So, doha ito ang pilihan. It's either si mitigating or aggravating. Pag aggravating circumstance naman, Uh, that circumstance that could increase the penalty. Diba? So, answer there is mitigating circumstance. Why? It's because from the word na do not entirely, ganing word na entirely, meaning to say, dili yun uh, exempted si actor from liability, but it will reduce or it will, uh, ang effect niya is in, uh, decreasing the criminal liability. So, meaning to say, na ay portion na mawala na criminal liability, pero not entirely. So, muna si mitigating circumstance. So, answer there is Charlie. Next, number nine. Those which if attendant in the commission of crime serve to increase the penalty but without exceeding the maximum penalty. So, ang pinaka-keyword there is serve to increase the penalty. So, wala and answer there is alpha, aggravating circumstance. Next, number ten. These are elements of self-defense. So, as you can remember, self-defense is under the justifying circumstance. So, nakagihatag di ba na mnemonics sa inyo ha? Na ang self-defense na siya itong ka-element. Na siya yung mnemonics na URL. U stands for unlawful aggression. R stands for reasonable necessity. And then L stands for lack of sufficient provocation. So, ang answer there is kaneng bravo. Next, number 11, it is an aggravating circumstance that applies to a particular felony like cruelty in crimes against persons. So, alpha to delta are all types of aggravating circumstance. Di ba, pag when we say generic, aggravating, it could apply in all types of crime. Di ba si generic? So, pag inherent naman, it is natural to the commission of the crime. Meaning to say, dili ni mo na mabuhat na crime o what dili na ni mo i-execute na element of aggravating circumstance. So, tawag na inherent. So, base sa ito ang question, applies only to a particular felony. Meaning to say, pili lang. Pili lang na crime ang iyahang ang pwede magamit siya. So, ang answer there is kaning specific aggravating circumstance. So, answer is bravo. Next, number 12. When the offender has committed offenses which are embraced in the same title of the revised penal code. So, he is. So, kaning alpha to delta, ang tawag ani is the offender repeatedly committing a crime or repetition of the commission of the crime. So, when we say habitual delinquent, 
Maunin siya ang tao na mukumit og crime within 10 years sa mga crime na naay ni Monix na Fretzel. Diba? Katong falsification, robbery, staff, theft, serious and less serious physical injury. So, dili siya connection sa ato ang question. Pag when we say reiteration naman, or also naman sa habituality, uh, dili na niya tanawon. Uh, if same title ba of the revised penal code, tanawon lang niya if ang second crime is mas higher ang penalty kaysa sa previous crime na nakumit. So, dili na siya ang answer. So, pilion na to si Bravo and Charlie. Si Bravo naman, quasi recidivist, is a felony which is committing a felony during serving of sentence. Meaning to say, mo commit ka of felony or crimes that are punishable by the revised penal code during nag-serve ka sa imuang sentensya sa sunod sa prison facility. So, ang answer there is Charlie Recedivis. Next, number 13, these are requirements of alternative circumstance except so, when you say alternative circumstance, it could be mitigating, it could be aggravating, dependent on the circumstances present. So, naka siya ito ka element. Uh, relationship, intoxication, and degree of education. So, ang except there is delta, drug addiction. Next, number 14. These are the principal in the commission of grave or less grave and light felonies except. So, uh, di ba, we have three types of principal. Principal by direct participation, yeah, principal by uh, inducement, and principal by uh, indispensable cooperation. So, ang walay appeal dira is kaning Charlie. It's because ang kaning Charlie is uh, an accessory. So, dili ni siya appeal as a principal. Kaning Alpha, Bravo, and Delta, mawaka na sila ang mga principal. Next, number 15. It is a single crime consisting of a series of acts arising from one criminal action. So, what do you call that type of crime now? When uh, you are committing a crime, uh, meaning to say, you are committing a series of acts, taghan kayong act, pero arising from one criminal resolution. So, what do you call that type of uh, crime? So, answer there is continuing crime. So, answer there is continuing crime. When we say complex crime, complex crime is a single act. So, ah, uh, uh, complex crime is a single act that results to uh, two or more less or grave felonies, di ba? Or when the act is necessary to commit the other. So, mo na ang si complex crime, but ang answer there is continuing crime. Next, we have 16. It is an act committed or omitted in violation of a public law forbidding or commanding it. So, kanin siya is kanang ang katong dinadefine ni criminal law, di ba? So, answer there is alpha crime. Pero pag when we, uh, pag muingo na na siya, it is an act committed or omitted in violation of the revised penal code. So, that's the time answer kag felony. Kung in violation of special penal law, Answer ka of offense. Pag in violation of city or municipal ordinances, answer ka of misdemeanor or infraction of law. Next, number 17. So, answer sa 16 ha is alpha crime. Next, number 17. This is otherwise known as the revised penal code of the Philippines. So, kung sa daw tong balaod na nag-create kay Revised Penal Code. So, ang answer is Act 3815. Ano yung Alpha? Ang answer there is sa 17. So, Act 3815 was signed into law December 8, 19, ah, December 13, 1930, ah, uh, promulgated or took effect January 1, 1932. Kaning Administrative Order 94, it is a law that creates the committee that will create the Act 3815. Next, number 18. These are elements of the crime of treason except. So, di ba, when we say treason, it is the breach of allegiance to a government committed by a person who owes allegiance to the government. So, ang elements niya, di ba, number one is 
an offender is a Filipino citizen or an alien residing in the Philippines. And then number two element niya, when there is a war in which the Philippines is involved. Ha? And then number three element niya, yeah, committing, uh, committing treason, it's either uh, Levis war against the government or giving aid and comfort to the uh, enemies. So ang answer there is kaning delta. Money ang dili element ni uh, treason. It's because money ang meaning ni treason. Wa? Meaning rin na treason, ang kaning delta. Whereas ang element niya is kaning alpha, bravo, and charlie. Next, number 19. It is a forcible depredation on the high seas without local authority and done with animo porande and in the spirit and intention of universal hostility. So, uh, ang pinaka-keyword ni Modera is ang pinaka-keyword ni Modera is uh, forcible depredation of uh, high seas. So, ang answer there is kaning piracy. Piracy. Pag once na ang piracy, don't forget na pag once na uh, commit dito sa mga international waters and ang i-attack na uh, vessel is sa Philippines, ang ikasog yun is piracy na naakay uh, RPC. Pero pag once na naadari sa sulod sa teritory sa Pilipinas, nangita po ang piracy, so ang ikaso is katong PD-5, uh, PD-5, uh, PD-5-3-2. Uh, PD-503, rather, PD-503, which is the piracy and uh, anti-brigandage law. Next, number 20. These are the elements of the crime of arbitrary detention except. So, asa dira ang dili element of arbitrary detention? So, when you say arbitrary detention, it is committed by a public officer or employee, specifically a person in authority or agent of a person in authority, having the power to arrest. And then next is, he detains a person and the detention is without legal ground. So, monang mga elements sa arbitrary detention. So, answer there is Delta. Only ang dili appeal na elements of arbitrary detention. Next, 21. These are the crimes known as the violation of domicile except. So, ang violation of domicile na ay tulok ako, ma. We have Violation of domicile na plane, which is entering a dwelling against the will of the owner. We have violation of domicile na searching warrant, malis uh, search warrant maliciously and obviously preserved. And then lastly is katang uh, searching domicile without witnesses. So, kana siya ang tulong ka po kumasa uh, crime na under kay violation of domicile. So, ang answer there is kaning alpha. Muna siya ang delay appeal sa uh, crimes that are under the violation of domicile. It's because it is an element particularly of a plain violation of domicile or simple violation of domicile. Next, 22, it is, a commit, it is committed by rising publicly and taking arms against which so uh, is too sad. So, as 22, number 22, it is committed by rising publicly and taking arms against the government, depriving the chief executive and legislator of the power and prerogative. So, when we say treason, resata sa delta, ha? treason is a bridge of allegiance, di ba? A meaning niya is the bridge of allegiance of a person which owes allegiance to the government. Kana si treason. While sedition naman is uh, also depriving the chief executive and legislator of the power and prerogatives, but not taking arms against the government, only rising publicly by creating charivari or kanang kasamok sa public para mo against sa isa ka tao and uh, restricting the chief or the president and legislator para ma-exercise sila ilahang powers. So, when we say kodita naman, kodita is a swift attack, di ba? Swift attack accompanied by violence, which is particularly or commonly, it, uh, la, 
committed by a military personnel or a police personnel. So, ang answer there is Alpha, rebellion. Next, 23. So, ang answer sa 23 is Codita, Charlie. So, ang common dera na offender yun pag Codita is military or police personnel. Pero, dili lang limited sa ila ha. Pwede po private person. Pero, kailangan ang private person mitabang kahit military or police personnel. Para, in order na siya, liable also for Codita. Kasi kung nitabang siya kay private person or uh, kanang private person alone ang nag uh, against the government by means of violence or intimidation or threat. So, ang crime niya is rebellion. Pero pag military or police personnel, so that's the time ayun muna siyang kodita. Next, 24. It is an order in writing issued by the judge. Uh, commanding any peace officer to search the premises and seize the property described therein. So, mga kanya ito ang itopic ka ganina, ang buntag, katong, uh, katong sulat na kailangan ni mo in order na dili ka mahimong liable for violation of domicile if you are entering a private property and you are conducting search and seizure. Mga po di ang kailangan para dili maingon as fruit of poisonous tree ang katong evidence na imuang nakuha if you are conducting search and seizure and the primary requisite daw in conducting raid. So, ang answer dira is Charlie. Search para. Next, 25. These are the elements of the crime of indirect bribery itself. So, di ba, when we say indirect bribery, it is committed mainly by public officer and he receive of price, reward, or gift, any gift with the because of his or her office. Meaning to say, gihatagan lang ka, tungod lang sa imuhang opisina o tungod sa imuhang posisyon. Uh, pero, you are not manda mandated or required to do an act in favor for the uh, giver. Diba? Kanang murag plain lang yun. Kanang murag nagpalakas lang. Kasi kung if you are uh, mandated to do an act, whether legal or illegal, whether constituting uh, constitutes a crime uh, for the reason na para dito sa nihatag sa imuha, that is not indirect bribery. That is direct bribery or if you are refusing to arrest a person na punishable by perpetual, that is qualified bribery. So, ang answer there sa 25 is kaning Charlie. Charlie. Kay kaning Charlie, uh, element na ni siya ni in, uh, direct bribery. Next, 26. These are the elements of the crime of parricide except. So, di ba, when we say parricide, it is a key, uh, killing of uh, a person which is uh, your relative, which is a first degree of consanguinity, ascendance, and your descendants. So, ang elements niya is a person is killed, the deceased is killed by the accused, and the deceased is father, mother, or child or the grandfather di ba or the grandmother or killing of the, or the disease is the spouse so ang answer dira is kaning delta mao ni siya ang dili appeal sa elements of the parricide kay nakabutang mangu dito na the relationship uh, it's either legitimate or illegitimate di ba kung legitimate kailangan kay lolo kay lola o kay apo kanang legitimate or whether illegitimate applicable na, na kay anak, di ba? Or kay mama or kay papa. Pero pag uh, spouses, mag-asawa, kailangan legitimate din siya. So next, 27. It is the unlawful killing of any person which is not parricide or infanticide provided that any of the following circumstances are present. So as you can see, treachery, consideration of price, and evident premeditation are all classified as qualifying, aggravating circumstance. Diba? Remember, if uh, wala mo yung relationship, diba? And then, ang edad is more than 72 hours, and then, ang pagpatay ni mo is with presence of qualifying circumstances, so, ang imuhang crime nila is murder. So, ang answer nila is bravo. Next, 28. These are the elements of the crime of homicide except, so, diba? When you say homicide, Uh, killing or simple killing only always presume ang intention. So, ang elements niya is kaning killing without justifying circumstance. 
uh, uh, the accused had intention to kill, which is presumed, and the killing was not attended by any qualifying aggravating circumstance. So, answer there is kaning delta. It's because kaning delta, para, ka kay, para na ni kay murder. Next, 29. It, it exists when there are at least four persons who are armed, took part in disturbance, or are provided with means of violence. So, monitong crime na uh, once na uh, na ay mamatay or na ay magkaroon ng serious physical injury uh, tungod sa anang kung sa ato ang language pa ginatawag mo siya as riot. Diba? So, ang answer dira is alpha. Tumultuous afraid. Next, 30. It is the act constituting of shooting to another with any firearm pero without intent to kill. So, unsa daw ng act na uh, mag-discharge ka o firearm sa, against sa isa ka tao, pero ang pag-discharge ni mo is without intent to kill. So, ang answer dira is kaneng alpha, discharge of firearms. Diba? Remember na pag once na, uh, pero ang pag, pag, pag fire sa tao against that person is with intent to kill na, that na, uh, that will become attempted mer uh, attempted homicide. Uh, dili na na siya any more discharge of firearm. Kaya na may intention. In order to constitute discharge of firearm, kailangan without intent a pag a uh, discharge of firearm. Kung wala mo po ni mo gi-discharge, itutok lang ni mo sa iya ha, in order to uh, intimidate that person, but without intent to kill, so it is grave threat. Diba? Pero if you are showing only, not pointing the gun against the person, showing only, so you are liable for other light threat. So next, number 31. These are the ways and means how the crime of serious physical injury is committed, except. So ang answer there is sa 31 is kaning delta. Intentionally mutilating others. It's because delta is a crime na na mutilation. Pag once na you are causing mutil uh, you are mutilating or na mutilate ni mo ang body parts niya, diba? but without intention, so that's the time, kana siya si serious physical injury. But pag with intent ang pag mutilate, it will now become mutilation. Next, 32. It is the taking of property of another with intent to gain and by means of violence or intimidation or of any person. So, di ba, when we say theft, simple taking only of another property without the use of uh, force upon things or without the use of violence against or intimidation to other person. So, answer there is kaneng bravo, robbery. Next is 33. These are elements of the crime of qualified theft except so ang elements sa qualified or ang dili appeal dere is kaning delta. Siya. So mao ni siya ang dili isa sa elements. Kani siya, may mahimo ka ni siyang example, di ba? Okay, mahimo ka ni siyang example of the crime of qualified theft, particularly if commit ka ni o kani committed by domestic servant. Pero pag when we say element, kani mang siya specific ang question. So, dapat specific po di mo ang answer. So, answer there is delta. Alpha to Charlie are all elements of qualified men. Next, 34. It is meant the taking away of woman from her house or the place where she may be for the purpose of carrying her to another place with intent to marry or corrupt her. So, Kani siya, kaning uh, taking of a woman. So, muna yung mga pinaka keyword, taking of a woman. And yung pinaka key, uh, another keyword nila is with intent to marry or corrupt her. Diba? With intent to marry or corrupt her constitutes the word na lewd design. So, the taking of a woman with lewd design. So, answer nila is bravo, abduction. If you pwersa, if you pwersa ni mo, at uh, dili ni mo mo na ang edad sa babae, if Maski pa less than 18, uh, uh, 18 years, 18 years of age, maski pa more than 18 years of age, bas, basta kay force ni mo, pag take away sa iya ha, so tawag anak forcible, abduction. Pag once naman na ni consent o, uh, ni consent o, o ban sa imuha, pero ang edad is 
over 12 years old but under 18 years of age pero ni consent ha ni consent sa imo ha so tawag ana is consented abduction so answer dari sa 34 is bravo next 35 it consists in voluntary but without malice doing or falling to do an act from which material damage results by reason of inexcusable lack of precaution so kani siya ang 30 ang ang ang, ang ginamin sa 35 is kana daw ng action sa isa ka tao which is without intent but voluntarily nakakos of damage sa laing tao o sa laing property because of lack of precaution. Yung say lack of precaution, uh, sino na na siya sa lack of skill? Wala kay buhat. So ang answer dira is kaning bravo. Reckless imprudence. Next, 36. These are the elements of the crime of qualified bribery except, so di ba remember, pag qualified bribery, applicable na siya sa mga sworn officer. Sa itong mga peace officer na na-i power to arrest. Ni-refrain siya from arresting a person that is ang crime na na-commit sa tao na wala niya gi-arrest to is punishable by perpetua pataas and then di-accept niya ang katong gi-offer sa tao na wala niya gi-arrest to. So ang answer there is kaning Bravo. Muna siya ang daily elements of the crime na qualified bribery. Next, 37. These are things to be searched except. So, asa dira daw ang daily appeal dito sa mga gamit na pwede ni mo makuha while serving search warrant. So, di ba naman to'y tulo? Katong mismo subject of the offense, katong stolen or fruits of the crime, o katong mga gamit na can be used or intended to be used for committing an Offense. So, ang answer dira is kaning delta. Ako na ang dili appeal. Next, 38. These are elements of warrantless search except. So, nahatag na ako kaganina. Kaganina ang buntag. What are those forms of warrantless search? Isa dira is kaning consented search. Diba? Remember? Ang ikaduha is kaning plain view doctrine. So, napatoy custom search. Diba? Napoy routine search na stop and freeze and then also na I search incidental to lawful arrest kato if you are arresting a person automatic you have the right to search that person but within the reach lang sa tao so answer dira is kaning alpha mo na siya ang daily appeal dito sa forms of warrantless search next 39 it is the method provided for for by the revised rules of court Not only for the apprehension and prosecution of person who commit crimes, but also for the composition of the penalty. So, ang answer there is kaning delta, criminal procedure. Next, number 40. It is a sworn statement charging a person with an offense subscribed by the offended party and any peace officer. So, kanya ang pinaka-keyword ni mo there is, subscribe ang nagbuhat is ang offended party or peace officer. So, di ba, when we say information, ang nag-subscribe si prosecutor, file directly to the court. Di ba, remember? So, answer dira is kaning bravo, complain. Next, 41. These are officers authorized to conduct preliminary investigation except. So, asa daw dira ang dili authorized to conduct PI or preliminary investigation. So, di ba, when we say PI, It is the or preliminary investigation. It is the investigation conducted by the prosecutor to find the probable cause. Di ba ang requisite sa PI is at least four years, two months, and one day ang crime na nakumit or punishable ang crime na nakumit, and then nakumit ang crime or it's either less than four years, two months, and one day pero nakumit ang crime sa mga charter cities. Pag once naman na less than 4 years, 2 months, and 1 day punishable ang crime, uh, and then sa municipal area na uh, nakumit ang crime, so that's the time, ang katong complaint, diba dili na iagi kay Office of the Prosecutor, but idiretso kay Municipal Trial Court. So meaning to say, ang judges of the Municipal Trial Court na ang mag-conduct of preliminary investigation if, in, if kana siya na case. Wa. So, ang answer dira is kaning Charlie. Muna siya ang dili authorized to conduct preliminary investigation because the judges of the RTC, remember na 
di ba, pag RTC, if ang crimes is punishable by 6 years and 1 day pataas. So, meaning to say, no need na pala to conduct PI si judge of the RTC. Kaya ang mukandak ng PI para sa iya is kaning mga prose before. Fiscal, kaning word na fiscal is the oldest name for prosecutor. So, isa ka na siya sa uh, name na prosecutor. Next, 42, the taking of a person into custody in order that he may be bound to answer the commission of offense. So, answer dira is arrest. Alpha. So, remember that if you are arresting a person, kailangan by virtue of warrant of arrest. An exception if nakasulog siya sa warrantless arrest. Kani initial contact, kani siya ang pag-arrest ni mo sa CICL or kanang bata. Dili arrest ang tawag sa pag uh, take into custody sa CICL but initial contact. Arrest if ang uh, imuhang i-take into custody is ato. Next, 43. A peace officer or a private person without warrant may arrest person lawfully except. So, di ba, we have different types of warrantless arrest na atay in flagrante delecto. Diba? Ang in flagrante delecto, mauni siya si Alpha. Kaning committing, attempting, and committed an offense. Di ba? And then next is kaning hot pursuit. Katong when you are ha, uh, when you have a probable cause or when you have a personal knowledge based on the fact that the offense has uh, eventually uh, bago lang na commit. So, mauni si Bravo. Or, another is kaning if you are arresting a person that is an escapee. Uh, it's either sa jail or it's either sa prison. So, ang answer dira is kaning Delta. So, answer sa 43 is Delta. Next, 44, it is a security given for the release of a person in custody of the law. So, what do you call that one? If uh, ihatag ni mo, uh, pwede maka-release maka ka temporarily sa prison facility or even sa jail or even sa lock-up jail, di ba? Na naasya'y upat ka po, huma. Corporate surety, cash ban, property ban, and record, naisan. So, ang answer there is kaning Charlie, bail. Next, 45, trial in absentia can be conducted in the following manner, except, so, when you say trial in absentia, muna siya ang tawag na, tawag sa circumstance na mo-ongoing ang trial even without the presence of the accused. Diba? So, tawag trial in absentia. So, it will be conducted in the following manner, pag once na ang accused is na human nag -arain, so, pwede na siya because arraignment and plea is mandatory man na naa si accused dira, di ba? So, pag human na o arraign, so pwede na wala si accused during uh, ongoing ang trial or during presentation of evidences. Uh, another is, if the accused has been duly notified to the court and the failure of the accused to appear is unjustified. Meaning to say, ang iyahang pag alto dito is walay reasonable ground. So, uh, that's the time na maski wala siya, ipadayon yun ang trial. So, ang answer dira is kaning alpha. So, answer sa 45 is alpha. Next, 46. The presence of the accused in court is indispensable and mandatory in the following instances except. So, asa daw dira, ang question is, asa daw dira ang dili needed ang presence ni accused sa korte. So, dili needed ang presence ni accused dira sa korte if in cases na during presentation of evidence. Mauna na siya si trial in absentia. So, answer there is a 46 is delta. Next, 47. Arraignment consists of the following except. So, di ba, when you say arraignment, it is the first stage in judicial proceedings, which is uh, the reading of accusation in writing, uh, charging a person with offense uh, in an open court, requiring him to plead guilty or not guilty. So, meaning to say, pag-arraignment, kung basahon ni mo, na opportunity ang accused na makahibalo sa offense na gina-charge against sa iyaha. And also, pag-arraignment, di ba, reading of complaint or information and asking the accused whether guilty or uh, or asking the accused to plead guilty or not guilty. So, except dira is kaning delta. Because in any stage, even if, uh, even if wala pa'y arraignment, pwede mang ka Ikaw accused, pwede man ka makakuha o copy of your complaint and information. Di ba, ginapadalaan man ng sabi na 
si respondent ni by the prosecutor kanang sabina mo na siya copy copy gihapon sa complaint so anytime of the uh, during the procedure pwede ka maka furnish of copy of complaint or information dili lang kay during arraignment next 48 it is any definite statement of any matter which is not averted with the sufficient definiteness or particularly to enable a party to prepare his pleading and to prepare for trial. So, mao daw ni ang gina-request ni defense party or ni uh, particularly ni defense party para ma-explain further or ma-explain o maayo ang information na gipile against sa kay Akyu. So, tawag ana is bill of particular. So, answer there is bravo. Next, 49. It is a motion to dismiss a criminal case after the prosecution has rested its case on the ground of insufficiency of evidence. Kato, i-file daw ni mo after nag-present si prosecutor o evidence niya. Kaya ang evidence na i-present ni prosecutor, dili gahe. So, ipabasura ni mo. So, ang answer nila is the mirror to evidence. Charlie. Kaya ang motion to quash, ang ipabasura ni Modera is the information. And it can be filed uh, anytime before the arraignment. Diba? While ang demure to evidence, it can be filed uh, after the prosecution has rested its case. Next, 50. It means the adjudication of the court that the accused is guilty or is not guilty of the offense charge. So answer nila is judgment, alpha. Next, 51. For the secondary evidence to be admissible, the following requisite, requ requisite must be proved by satisfactory evidence except. So, kana siya ang mga uh, conditions daw kung kanus uh, si secondary evidence mahimong admissible in exchange with original document. So, di ba, i-prove ni mo na an existence yun ang original document. I-prove po ni mo na nawala or uh, naguba ang katong original document. And i-prove po din mo na ang pagkawala or ang pagka-unavailable ni original document is not due to So answer nila is Charlie. So answer sa 51 is Charlie. Next, 52, witness are qualified to testify if, so diba when you say witness are those persons who can perceive and can make his perception to others. Diba? So pwede si Alpha, ano yung qualification ni sa witness? Pwede po si Bravo, qualification po din siya sa witness. So, ang answer nila is Charlie, all of the above. By the way, uh, unsa nang ta, uh, pwede ba ang isa ka-akusado ka ng, for example, daghan ang, daghan ang accused na ay principal, na ay accomplice, and na ay accessory? Pwede ba na mas ki-akusado ma-discharge as a witness of the prosecution? So, pwede na siya. If in cases na wala na ilaing evidence na gahe na pwede i-present si prosecutor but the witness lang ni uh, co-accused niya which is appearing to be not the least guilty. Wow. So pwede na i-discharge. So tawag ana is state, uh, state witness ang tawag ana. Kanang akusado pero gikuha ni prosecutor para mo uh, witness against uh, sa, sa iyahang kauban pero siya ang dili mas guilty kana imuhang paon a state witness so pag once na ma-discharge daw ang isa ka tao o isa, isa ka accused buhaton a state witness equivalent na daw na siya sa iyahang pagka-acquit sa katong kaso equivalent na na siya sa acquittal next we have 54 uh, 53 it means things done and it includes the circumstances and declaration incidental to the main facts of the prosecution. Monitong uh, kung sa Tagalog pa, parte ng pangyayari. Katong mga nadungog ni mo uh, during intense ang panghitabo. Diba? Nadungog ni mo na nadungog ni mo in a way na gideliver siya, na mura siya pa-shout. Diba? Pa-shout na conversation. Huwag na ay exclamatory point. So, ang answer nila is, bravo, res geste, or parts of res geste. Next, 54, the means sanctioned by the rules of court of asserting in judicial proceedings the truth respecting a matter of fact 
So, ang tawag ana is alpha evidence. Mauna siyang answer. While, uh, ang result daw ni evidence, kung ina-present mo sa evidence, ang result niya is proof. Kuha, proof. So, meaning to say, ang evidence daw is the instrument of proof. Pero ang answer dito sa 54 is alpha evidence. Next, 55, the ultimate fact to be established, katong mismong issue na imuhang gina, impute sa isa ka tao, against sa isa ka tao, or katong issue na imuhang gina, allege against sa ubang tao. So, tawag ana is factum probandum. So, answer there is delta. While, uh, in order to prove the ultimate fact, so, you must present evidentiary fact which is binatawag as factum probans. So, answer there is a 55 is delta. Next, 56. That which has some connection or relation to what is sought to be proved, that which has a tendency to prove or disprove the matter in dispute. Katong evidence or katong type daw of evidence that will uh, prove the probability or improbability of the uh, facts in issue. Diba? So, ang answer, Anna, is Charlie, relevant evidence. Next, 57. Those are evidences that are addressed to the senses of the court. Diba? Ginatawag na siya as object evidence, autoptic evidence, or real evidence. So, ang answer there is Prabhu. Next, 58. These are the evidence which is uh, which was inadmissible under the Constitution except. So, meaning to say, asa daw dira ang admissible na evidence. Kaya ang question there is, ang naa daw sa option is mga inadmissible evidence except. Wa, except. So, meaning to say, asa ang evidence dira na pinadawat ni Korte. So, ang alpha obtained in violation of the privacy of communication and correspondence so, inadmissible na siya, di ba? Katong privilege communication or kaning wartapping. So, inadmissible na siya as evidence. Kanang bravo, also inadmissible na siya as evidence. It's because uh, ang confession, for example, was obtained by torture, force, violence, or threat. So, dili na siya dawaton. Also, kaning delta, inadmissible na siya because you are compelling a person to be a witness against himself. Diba, ang isa niya ka rights is uh, to be excluded, uh, to be a witness against uh, against him. Dili siya pwede mahimong witness or dili siya pwede yung kugson na mahimong witness against sa iyahang sarili. So, ang answer niya is kaning Charlie. Those which are not excluded by the law and which is relevant to the issue. Because this one is uh, uh, ang kailangan ni mo parang evidence is mahimong admissible. Next, 59, when is evidence admissible in court proceedings? So, di ba, ang evidence is admissible if it is relevant, if it is competent, and it is not excluded by the law. So, answer nila is delta, all of the above. So, last, 60, it is that which affords the greatest of the fact in question and itself does not indicate the existence of other better proof. Katong kailangan daw sa documentary evidence. When you are presenting documentary evidence, di ba? General rule, you must present original document or the primary evidence because the original document uh, or the primary evidence uh, affords the greatest uh, question or greatest fact in the uh, issue. So, answer there is alpha, original document. So, count your score. So, na ay wala na habol na answer dito. Wago na ko isa-isa, ha? Sir Rosano. 30, 33, ma'am. 33, so very good. Sir Billiones. 42, ma'am. 42? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, Sir Sakai. 28, ma'am. 28. Next, Sir Bongkales. 38, ma'am. 38. So, next, Sir Laurito. 26, ma'am. Emong score, sir? 26. 26. So, next, Sir Alimorong. 42, ma'am. 
44. Next, Sir uh, Abelia. Ah, si Sir Abelia. Wala na yung mic. Wala na yung mic, ma'am. Ah, wala yung mic. So, pakichat na lang, Sir Abelia, ay muhang uh, score dere. Next, we have Sir Jasper. 37. 37. Next, uh, Sir Agon. 40, ma'am. Sila? 40. 40. Next, 40 um, Jessica. 32, ma'am. 32. Next, we have Ma'am Jessie Ami Buhangin. 35, Ma'am. 35. Next, we have Sir Tikoy. 35, Ma'am. 35. Next, Sir Alayon. 43, Ma'am. 43. Next, we have Sir Panugan. 49, Ma'am. Ah, oh, yawa, Sir. Oy, 49. Sir, ayis, ma ayis. Nay mo laban sa 49? Wala. Ha? Sir Abe? 32. Ha? 32, ma'am. 32? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Next, we have Sir Oroyan. Ila? 38. Uh, lastly, we have Sir Samson. Wala po yung mic siguro si Sir Samson. So, pakichat na lang nila, ha? 40 na siya, ma'am. Ha? 40, 40 na nagchat na siya. Uh, so, uh, ato ang pinakahayes is kaning si Sir... Gun. Ronnie, Ronnie J. Ah, sino? Si Marvin ba? 49? Isa ito naka-49? Isa ito naka-49? Uh, Panunggan, ma'am. Ma'am. Babayan. Dito, Hindi ka ba? Na, na. Naminaw na. Nag-take note. <laughs> low, ayun, low. Sige, 26, low. Gamay akong nakuha, ma'am. <laughs> dapat kung kung ka na magpasak ka uh, uh, dapat imuhang score ana is supposed to be uh, for, uh, 45 siya pinakababa na ng 45 so na yung mga naka 40 so uh, congrats uh so that ends our uh, class in criminal jurisprudence and procedure with evidence. So next na ko na schedule I think sa inyo is uh, during your last last uh, final coaching na. Yan, so uh, so good luck sa tanan. Uh, unta uh, dili niyo malimta na kung gipang Hindi pang ingon, it's because during your mock board, siguro po uh, more on situational or sina, uh, more on scenario ang mga question. So, don't forget lang na back to basic. Uh, I-analyze o maayo kung sa itong pinaka-meaning yun niya. And also, sa iyahang general rule. Always follow the general rule. So, uh, napamoy ko ano, one month, no? So, in, uh, during May pa inyo ang kuan. So, Probably, uh, kamo na batch, uh, makatake mo kaya board exam sa sunod is kaning this coming December. So, unta ka muna iswerte para madayon ng board exam. Kamo kay gigulat tingali. <laughs> eh, sige, nagkapos po ng board exam. <laughs> Duhang katulit. Oh, ayun, <laughs> so, sige ko, kani si Juan, kani si Ma'am Jisame kay gigulat pa. Baka nga, Juan, madayon ng exam. <laughs> so, good luck, good luck. Padayon, uh, uh, practice na o basa-basa, karun pa lang. So, take time sa inyong kuan ka na pag stay home. So, swerte mo kay stay home inyo ang pag kuan, uh, study ka ron. So, mas makapokus mo ba sa particularly in your stage na mag uh, mag-board exam. So, salamat sa pagpaminaw. Uh, 
See you sa inyong final Tara, group study ta. Oh, Kaya siya, kung before sa, o oh, before sa time na mo, kana 30 minutes, mas kung ano na sa mga kung makabasa kay wala may time before kay mag-OJT sa downtown. Hmm. Hmm. Mag- Lagi mo. Lagi. Sila kayo gihulat mo para madayo na ito. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm, old curriculum. Lagi ma'am. Mm. Um, Joda. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Ma mga yusay mo. Kanang copy ng kanang ko slides ng mga. Pwede mo mga yun. Ah, kan pa usaon man nako pag send sa inyo. Kay ma'am Aymar. Siya may nag- Ah, sige, sige, sige. Ah, uh, send na lang nako sa Gmail ni ma'am Aymar. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Happy Sunday sa all.